I'm a 450 pound dude that can barely walk. My life can't get much worse. Look here. Look here! Look, listen! I just can't do it. I can't take this shit no more, man. Either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Whatever. I hope your family dies in an automobile wreck. I was fucking lonely. I wanted to just fucking stream and have a good time, baby. Have a good game. <laughs> Appearing offline does not fucking stop it. So stop giving fucking advice. Yeah, we can talk about those other things. It's just that one, I like... What's the difference like between is... you killing and eating your baby and you strapping a bomb and going into a concert and blowing up 48 people's, other people's babies? Um, I would say, like, quantity of death and, like, damage to well-being, mostly. Like, like people don't value life. Like, you like your baby because huh. it's your baby. If somebody in, like, a Fallout universe was to kill you and it was hungry as fuck, it'd probably eat you and your baby source they yeah, have but there's a but saying is the end of the world and that's because yeah, right. it only takes three missed meals for people to lose their civility yeah wings i, for, I completely oh you, you had uh, a neighbor cutting out and like coming back in yeah if you had a neighbor <clears throat> that had a that had a freezer full of deer meat because he hunted all summer Apocalypse happened, and you ran out of food, and he still had deer meat in his freezer, and his family's all eating, and you're looking at it from across the road, right? Yeah. It's actually going to be something in you that triggers that's going to go try to steal his meat. You most likely will fight him to the death on animal instinct. Uh, yeah, if you have nothing else, like no other option besides... Like, why even bring that morality that into it? It's, it's, a part of, it's a part of existence. It's built into us. Yeah, yeah, wings. But you're talking about a scenario in which you have it's yeah, but you, you just also needed to do this one thing, or else you'll die. aren't designed to eat meat. Charles Darwin's theory of survival yeah. of the fittest. Okay, yeah, but it's like talking about like wings. You're talking about like a, a desert island, and it's like, oh, you have to kill this other guy, so that you know you can't talk about morality because you know, see, you you don't have to be a desert island. Genetics. Like, like you could have other sources of food available to you. Like, you go hunt and trap, but you don't have these skills because you grew up in a modern civilization. People are more likely to take something that they already know how to fix than they are to go hunt for something else. Problem yeah. in the world as it is. I, I agree. Um, I'm just, you know, when when we talk about people living in like the United States and like advanced civilization, the the issue of necessity, like you know, you have to do this or else you might die so you know that makes it morally permissible to kill your neighbor it doesn't quite apply because you we can all just go to the store all right so i, I yeah i don't see the, the thank you holding necessity. morals too high man morals go out the window when necessity actually happens yeah good thing we're not in a situation in which necessity is is valued above all else like absolute survival like like, like what what has a spur of conversation anyway what has what? On this anyway, like you came in here with this, this idea that, you know, like um, that you know, eating human is, is that killing yeah. eating animals is immoral. Yeah, right. Protein, are you going to give to billions of people? You can't process corn as such at this point, effectively at least. So, no, we. I don't know. You can feed people beans, like. It's pretty easy to like. Yeah, you, you have any they don't taste nice. <laughs> they don't taste, taste nice. It's not even about taste. It goes back to this. It, 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 you, how much room would it take to to farm enough beans to feed seven billion people? Exactly. Wings, I have the perfect answer for that. So, do you have any idea how much grain and water, like all these fifty-six billion bovine animals living on the planet, eat? A shit ton. All right. So, my solution is we just replant. And just fucking like use the soil and, and land that we have here's, now here's, feeding them here's grain the thing. and just here's feed the, people the problem other the, stuff what you're saying is is a problem it's the same problem that has with make using corn as a form of gasoline called ethanol right yeah gasoline out of corn and, and it's called ethanol the reason they don't make corn gasoline and use oil petroleum based gasoline is because one it takes more energy to make a gallon of ethanol than you get consuming a gallon of ethanol. Same thing with corn or beans. The reason they feed the corn to the cow is because the cow creates more energy than it consumes. 
Okay, so two points. surplus. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough to tell when you stop talking or not. But yeah, so two points on that. The reason people choose corn is because it's it can survive in, in pretty harsh temperatures. It can it can grow quite well and easily. Um, stuff like that. It's not an issue of energy, I wouldn't say. Yeah. Like, for example, yeah. in the major league, we have the technology to call balls and strikes. Look here. For, Look, listen. I can. <laughs> What the fuck? You sounded like a complete moan. They troll 24 hours a day, man. They're eventually going to be at the say where government's going to come in like McDonald's. You're not allowed to have machines that replace employees. Universal health care is what this country needs. Almost every civilized country in the world has some sort of universal health care. Yeah, well, you only want universal health care because you're a fat fuck. Regardless of me being a fat fuck, there's people that aren't fat fucks that need you know health care. And if you're unwilling to take care of the weakest in your society, it should it should basically be a telltale sign of what your society is. Wings, I got a question, bro. Can you hear me? Yeah, state mandated veganism. No one can hear you. <laughs> well, one time, wings. One time, you said. I mean, I don't know if it's it's as if you said it like I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you said you were the only liberal in the South. Something along those lines. Can you elaborate on that? It's a very hard it's, question to elaborate on. It's pretty hyperbole. Like that meant to be well, taken you might need seriously. To, you might need to define what hyperbole is for that man. <laughs> <laughs> like a joke, not meant to be taken seriously. An exaggeration. Heavily exaggerated. Wings, when are you getting? Are yeah, you getting gonna, the surgery soon? I'm scheduling it soon, but it's like after the scheduling, it. it... Yeah, but I actually, uh, I can speak from experience. I had a family member get a similar thing, and uh, it it didn't work very well because they didn't involve exercise in their diet. I don't know exactly which surgery you're getting, but uh, you, you really you really got to make sure when you do get the surgery, you need to to uh, eat. You know low calor- low calorie foods and also incorporate some exercise in if you can because you can still remain fat even if you if you stay sedentary and eat lots of calories surgery is to make it so you can't eat lots of calories yeah but i understand you could drink you could potentially drink milkshakes all day and get a lot of calories you know like if all you day want. right now but i don't do that of course I, i'm not saying i'm just saying that that's what people do just and, it. Yeah. With the cake shakes. Yeah, so I mean you could still have a very high calorie diet if you did that. Um but have you uh, honestly though, like have you thought about just like reducing your caloric intake and then seeing what that does instead of getting a surgery? Dude, I'm way past the point of not getting the surgery. I would do anything that involved me not getting the surgery people would be coming at me with pitchforks. Yeah. Well, kid, I mean, dude, do you have you ever heard of uh, something called bistro salads? Just like just curious. Like have you ever heard of something called a bistro salad? Here's the, here's the thing, man. Size well, because well, of body doesn't deal with fat well. Yeah. Yeah. When I was younger, right? Mm-hmm. My body worked better. I had a very labor intensive job. Mm-hmm. I worked 12 hours in a steel mill. A horse, I was strong as an ox. Yeah. I mean, wait, I was still sitting around 350, 360. Damn. And that's with me walking all day, going up and down Whoa. stairs, carrying 75 down slag paddles. Terrible at breaking down. You have a very slow metabolism. So yeah, Is that common like, in your family? Like a... Do your family members have the same metabolism? Brother, my brother, like some of them are, like my sister, she's gotten a lot bigger now since she had her baby. My mother's gotten a lot bigger. My brother got big when he was out of work. Like, it, like the fact is, like when your body, your body goes into patterns, like what I have to do and what the surgery is going to help me do. 
along with you know giving myself willpower, basically being able to purchase willpower. Another thing that it's going to do is it's going to allow me a period where set my metabolism because I'm going to be able to eat so little and I have to eat so often. Like for example, like when I get done with the surgery, I'm going to drink water every ten minutes, twelve yeah. meals a day, to because my stomach is so small. I have to force myself to constantly be putting in food and watching what nutrients and proteins I get every day because I don't have a lot of nutrient incep- uh, nutrient absorbers in my stomach anymore because 85% of my stomach I cut out. So it's going to be hard for me to get every vitamin and mineral that I need for my body to produce things like protein for my teeth and things like that. Well, you, you, could, um, you could eat the amount of weight that you have. Can you hear me, Ashley? Hold on. I think yeah, I cut out for a second. What you're um, trying to you, say is, yes, there are you, people can, that actually you, went you can like get gain days weight after the surgery. Because they were so fat. Jordy. Okay. I used to be fat, and uh, I got prescribed Adderall for weight loss. After Adderall, I did intermittent fasting. Easiest fucking thing I've ever done. Try that. Same here, man. Same here. It's, it's medication... It's and I, that again, will help like, you, lose you, you guys are giving me all these no, things. Stop. You guys are giving me all these options. But here's the fact is, I have to get the surgery at this point. There's no reason to explore these options. Even if, even if you fuck up with the with the uh, surgery, Adderall is going to help you so I'm much. I'm not going to fuck I'm up with saying. the surgery. And it's going to help okay. you hit your shots and rainbow How about six. this? Get the surgery, get Adderall, just to make sure that you, for the first year or two, you're fine with hunger and appetite. You know what I'm saying? Four ounce stomach, dude. Because well, I've, I've I've been through this. I I used to weigh like 250. Uh, the might not sound okay. Doesn't doesn't sound like much, but Adderall. No, 250 is my goal weight, right? Like hunger. that's where the surgery is going to put me at 240 pounds. Okay, when you're at 240, get Adderall. It'll help you for the first <laughs> year. Well, if not, you're, you're gonna. You, you, you're gonna go back to eating a fuck ton of food. I'm, I'm telling you, dude. No food, man. I don't. Wings. I, I really think that the issue I, I see with, with the surgery they're gonna get is that you plan. You think that it's all gonna, all the effort you're gonna put in is gonna go to waste if you just rely on the surgery. You have to incorporate other things into it. So That's what I'm telling you to get Adderall to make it easier. Well, no, no, no I'm not saying it. Adderall. First I'm, saying, off, like, I'm what, saying, like, what part of what I just said makes it seem like I'm not, I don't understand what I'm getting into. Well, it doesn't because I'm not like, and, and this is all due respect. I really, I mean, the diet's it, not easy. Like the diet, like any diet, it's not fucking easy. I'm just You're talking eat. about how you need to eat 12 times a day and all this stuff. You don't need to eat at all. Like you could literally not eat and you would be fine because you, you have so much extra body fat. Your no, body that's not true way, either. No, no, that, that is true. The, the you way still the, gotta take... the, the way the body is, mean... well, let me explain something really quick. Um, I, I actually like, uh, just took a biology class in, in college on this stuff. Um, yeah. and it, we, we talk about how, your body, like the way it was designed, you know, hundreds of years ago, people would put fat on because there would be periods in the winter time where you couldn't get food for months straight, right? So, so yeah, you have to like kind of hibernate, right? Well, if you're diabetic, that's a different story. Here's I'm the thing, about... man. I I have five sick sources right now. Yeah, that I can rely on. I know what I'm getting into. I know what I have to do. I have nutritionists. I have people lined up. All these doctors I've been going to isn't to delay the surgery. It's yeah, to yeah. make sure yeah. I have a support structure when I get back. Well, if you have a nutritionist, you, 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 you can save so much money if you just go through the nutritionist. And, and you don't need to do that. Like that, that's Not getting the surgery is not an option. So you wipe well, that out your it, head. It is an option. Though. How it's scared totally are you? Head. How scared of you are you doing this thing? Terrified of it. Like you're gonna give up the one thing that you've loved your whole I, life, uh, food. Wait, wait. Doesn't Lexapro uh, reduce anxiety? I have anxiety, but that doesn't mean it. It does. It, it doesn't take away fear. Uh, it should. It should numb you down pretty. Well, I just read a story lie. just tonight about a woman that got cut and that she they gave her morphine and she was allergic to morphine. I mean, that's, that's, there. that's she, someone's she fault right there. That's someone's, that's someone's fault right there because they didn't uh, announce that they had any allergies when they were asked by that nurse. She, they said it, but the fact is there's a language barrier there. 
I mean, that's a different issue. That's a third. That's a third party issue. That's external factor. Allergic to morphine. I'm sort of thinking, like, am I allergic to anything? Am I, like, am I allergic to the antibiotics? And Do you know any medications that you're allergic to? I've no. I only. I barely ever go to the um, doctor. You gotta check that out. Um, if you haven't been injected with opioids, then I, I'm assuming you you're not allergic to any of those. Never had any opioids in, in me. Don't worry, there's like but I'm saying, I was giving that an example. I just read a horror story where, like, she had morphine and she coughed and she busted all the sutures in her. How many and horror stories have you the... read about um, weight loss surgery? Six or seven. I, you shouldn't. You should not be doing that. Yeah, it's like like thirty people out. Like one person out of every thousand dies during surgery. The more Still you like read that. about that, the more it's gonna it's gonna haunt you. It, it's like it spurred the night because somebody sent me a um, sent me a video that went into a coma after bariatric surgery in Mexico. It's like, come on, dude, we are fucking asshole. I mean, don't Sean Franklin. That, Very cool. Imagine folks like that right there. Hey, uh, did anybody anybody uh, subscribe to Sean Franklin? No. no, it's a good YouTube channel. You guys should check it out. Like what? <laughs> oh my! God. What do you mean, Jordy? 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 He's a good YouTuber. Jordy makes quality Jordy. content. Jordy. He steals yes. content. Doesn't do anything with it. No, there's, there's there's more nuance to that. There's more nuance to it. Jordy. Yes. You're coming in here trolling at five in the morning. Go to bed, bro. Real it's talk. one. It's actually one fifty. Everyone be I'm quiet. Everyone be quiet. Everyone be quiet. Get the surgery done. Uh, if you're afraid, yeah. get some Xanax. Get some temporary Xanax. Because yeah, get Xanax. on more drugs. That's a great idea. Good. No, one. no, fuck. No, 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 okay. Advice. If you're getting surgery done, like that's not an easy thing. Like, there's people that get temporary Xanax for flying. Okay, like they'll get one or two pills from a doctor. Because they're afraid of flying, okay? Yeah, it's, it's a stressful. I won't even realize the it's a stressful. Happened. It's a stressful fucking experience, you know. Bro, Lexapro reduces anxiety. Yeah, but you can do that now. How? How? Yeah, man. I, I'm How? Not, oh yeah. I'm not gonna. Extra, I'm oh, not yeah. getting off Lexapro. All the oh, things that's happened yeah. to me recently. Bro, you're acting like worst position. So, bro, look at his position. You're right about that because you'll look at his more position. side effects after it's not easy bro, when it gets out of your system than like when it's in. Like you could deal with brain zaps, um, paranoia. Like, dude, yeah, I, I, I forgot, to take, I forgot to take it one day this week. I forgot to take it one day. If you're off, you're gonna get excited. You're gonna get fucking brain zaps. It's not fucking easy, dude. That point, I'm already, I'm already hooked I'm on him. I'm just saying that on a body Bro, I'm t- I'm telling you that if if you're on, on a young guy, I don't know. Bro, you've Listen, never you been guys, through you anything guys are this ma- bad. You've never been through anything this fucking bad before, okay? If you're already Jeez, hooked on you guys, are, you guys are fighting, and I'm in, over here like, look. No, no, this this I need this guy has I, I need no idea what he's talking about. No, no, I'm I'm telling you, this guy has no idea what he's talking like, about. Just imagine, imagine all the bad shit that's happened bro, just recently. Bro, if if you're on SRIs, if you're on antidepressants, you're depending on them. Okay, you're not gonna you're not gonna have a good time getting off. Wait, you you keep telling you 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 keep Did you, you keep saying that you keep asshole? saying that if you just say you keep you keep saying that if he if he's off Alexa Pro, he's gonna be fine. That's not fucking true. That's so irres- that's so irresponsible, dude. So, if he's taking Alexa there's Pro, a, there's, a two week, there's, off there's a two week go off. There's a two week withdrawal period for Alexa. You don't Pro. know what you're talking and, about, dude. I do know what I'm talking about. Not you. Period on Alexa Pro, and like I've experienced a little bit of talking that. About, I forgot sorry, to take one one day, and like I had the well, most severe headache in my life. And I felt I felt like I ran down. All right, that's a withdrawal period. That's something I'm gonna have to do because I'm talking about Soku uh, Aisen, whatever the fuck his name is. Say like you shouldn't take it. And I agree, you should you shouldn't need something like this. But the fact is, I need this for this point in my life because like I'm going through a high stress situation, and at the same time I start going through this high stress situation, you have people like Wavid Woolock over here that wants to scream Sean Ranklin and you know Listen. you know claim I'm a pedophile and shit like that. You know it's. It's stressful as a motherfucker. Not to mention, I pretty much quit one of my main sources of income. 
because of troll channels. Like, so I've lost Soku, income. shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, Soku. Okay, that's Dude, have you ever taken Can I say something? Can I say something? Can I say something real quick? Jordy. Jordy's a pedo. So I'm not. Jordy. Jordy. I went through depression a few years ago. I took Lexapro and helped him for the, for like almost a year. And then I got off it because then I found happiness. Okay, hmm? do not go off that shit. Because it's going to be hard. Only go off it when you're when you find when you fix your life up. Uh, basically, plan on, I don't plan on staying on forever, but I need right, it for you're, right you're now. You're not supposed to. Yeah, I need it for. Yeah, I needed it when I was. Fuck time. It's no, it's dude, not. Wings has like forty k in the bank, according to him. Bro, there's side effects for bro. There's side effects for everything. There's side effects for everything. Okay, listen, listen. Let me talk. I'm going to take Lexapro after. I'll be on Lexapro at least for six months. Oh, okay, so that's not, effective. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Bro, I'm telling... No, it, it doesn't... No, wait, okay. That's a side effect, and it's only for a certain amount of people. It's not going to give... I don't, ha- I don't have that. In for every it's single a very I've mild actually, side effect. I've actually lost weight since I've been on Lexapro. Every SSRI has side effects. That only occurs to certain people, not every single person that takes fucking SSRIs, dude. You're fucking lying out of your mouth. Side effects are, I I have. No, but you're you're giving false information. You're giving false information to a medication that I take. But you're giving advice. And someone that's taking it right now, you're you're giving advice to a bunch of a fucking bunch of depressed versions. This isn't gonna work at all. You're giving fake news, bro. These guys don't know shit. Fake news, and I have a girlfriend. Eat my ass. Over nothing, like you really are, bro. You're fake news. You're literally fake news. Have you ever taken this? Have you depression. ever taken an SSRI? If you're an if you're on antidepressants, if you're on antidepressants, you shouldn't be giving advice. You you don't Bro, know what the fuck you're talking about. You're to, just, okay, you're mentally I fucked up. I used to be on I used to be on, on antidepressants. Got off them because I fixed my life up. I'm not kidding. I fixed well, your life them, was fucked up in the first them. place. It was fucked up. Yes, college. You know them? Have you, you know have people? You okay, I know doctors. I know brain SSRI? surgeons too, but I'm not going to act like I'm a brain surgeon. Have you taken a SSRI? If you haven't taken a SSRI, then you cannot give it. You cannot give advice on this. My best, my best friend is a surgeon. My best, a, my best friend fucked a porn star. Point? That doesn't mean what I fucked a porn star. <laughs> what the fuck's the point, dude? I have my best friend. You guys are fighting over nothing, by the way. I just Wings. let you guys know. We're, we're, not, we're, we're not going to make friend, any progress. We're all autistic. Bro, you not gonna make any really progress by talking here. over each other, this, and, this and nobody's Asian. willing to listen to each other. Jordy, I went through a rough time. I took antidepressants. I fixed my life because they helped me a lot, and then I got off them. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, it's gonna help you. Just do not get I know off. It's gonna them. help me. I mean, like, and that's the reason I decided to get on them is under my doctor's advice. And like, I'm glad I'm on them right now because there's things that's happened in my life harder if I wasn't oh, yeah. on some kind of stabilizing I mean, drug. My issue was was way less worse than hey. your issue was, and, I, and it helped me a fuck ton. Helped me so much. And people can see I'm a, I'm a lot calmer individual since I've been on Lexapro. My issue Are was you? pretty much like... Uh, my, life was, my life was dominated talk. by anxiety and stress and fear of things. Are you actually like diagnosed with some sort of mental disorder, or are you just saying that and just taking pills? for me what do you mean taking pills it puts me with extreme anxiety okay well that's that's good because some people fucking just tell a doctor they're they have an anxiety and then they just get pills um that's, again. Not, really, that, that's not common at it's all called, it's called the riddle in generation fucking people my age what do you retarded. mean what do you mean dude you know how hard it's to get ritalin what are you talking about? They're giving Ritalin oh. out like fucking candy like 10 years ago. Schedule 2. Schedule, schedule 2 controlled substance. It's yeah, nowadays you fucking that. retard. It's No, no, I'm not. I'm, no, you're fucking retarded. You're fucking 
fake news. No, Riddle Lynn, if, you guys, if you guys want to argue, can you jump into another uh, room, bro, please? Riddle Lynn is so difficult to get. You're fucking lying. Not anymore. You're, or, 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 yeah, you I, you guys, hey, you you're lying out of your ass. Can you please jump into another lying. room? I'm not. And fight a fight about it. Yeah, no one cares. I want to talk about other things. Talk about more about your your fat weight loss or something. That's more fun. So negative, dude. Like honestly. Have you tried intermittent fasting? I mean, sure. Yeah. I know this. Like, why? Like, look. Why are you so negative, man? Like, honestly. Who? Waving. Look, that's who's. That's who's. Uh, no, no. Like... I, I think it's Sosoku uh, Ice, and he's so fucking negative. Holy shit. <laughs> Or you're making me have depression just from talking to you. <laughs> if you if you're getting <laughs> depression from that, <laughs> something's wrong. As you guys you guys take <laughs> No wings, uh Ice Poseidon actually played a clip of you on his stream the other day. Man. No no, no he did. I'm not like even saying that in a negative way. He played a clip of like wings like doing something funny or I don't I don't even remember what it Wait, was. Did he? I didn't I didn't see it. Are you sure? Yeah, no, oh I'm dead serious. Look up look up Wings of Redemption Ice Poseidon. Oh my god, I have to look I'm this not, up. I'm not fucking what the fuck? I have to look this up now. <laughs> no, I'm not I'm actually not trolling. I don't remember what it was, but it, it was something uh, He didn't play a wings video, Fane sent it to him and he was just playing with the fan scent. Hey, oh really? Hey, hey. I I didn't realize that. I, I I saw the clip on uh what what right. channel was it? It was fucking uh I don't care about any of that man. Sean Rankin. I, I, I literally don't. Ten toes down. Hey there's the link to it. if anyone wants to see it's not really that entertaining. Like just a fan sent him a video. Said zero. Zero. Have you ever tried Tinder? It's a good, it's a good app. I recommend it. Online dating. Yeah, dude. Or the thing with girls on with online dating is girls are more picky online than they are in real life. I should. Yeah, I can relate to that. I'm I'm like a fucking. Uh, skinny fuck and girls kind of like that shit so i mean it helps anxiety's my anxiety's built built upon like something my mother instilled into me my mother instilled in me that you're always supposed to work you're always supposed to have money lined up and things like that and it's like um in my life where almost everything is uncertain and like you know people turning against you you so you you see you know sources of income dry up and things like that and you stress about it that it comes. It, it all depends. Like it's actually very little. Like I'd say, it currently probably about twelve hundred dollars. Do you get any? Um, do you get any support from the government? No. Do you have a? Do you have a roommate that wings? That's extra income rate. I make good money right now. Well, why do you, why do you cry on bit. stream Good. about money then? I don't stream about money. Like a month ago or something? Or two no. months ago? No. It was like Not right when you got on Ritalin. When? I've been, I've been on a long, well, I'm over two months now. The last time I really cried about money on stream was January 28th. It's May now. All right, so... February, March, April, May. So four months ago. I mean, most people don't cry about money on the internet in the first place. Like, so I mean, right. But also, you understand, like, I wasn't in my right mindset because I was anxiety. I had, I was experiencing a lot of things I'm not normally used to. Yeah. It's, you know, everybody makes mistakes, man. You can't sit there and hold somebody. You're very, you're made. very true. Very true. Everybody makes mistakes. It happens. I was my during the last eleven years or so. Didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. I, I probably made around half a million dollars in my entire YouTube career, including beats me. It beats me. Much. It's not. I mean, like. Hey. No, I've never made millions. 
All the money's in the Minecraft servers. Woody. Have you ever invested in, invested in anything? The uh, daycare center. I had a restaurant. Hey. Um, I was I was investing in Team Envious for a little while. Hey. I mean, what do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about, homie. Yeah, dude. It, it makes you sound like a kid, dude. It honestly does. It, honestly, what are you talking I'll, about? I'll, I'll give him the what gestalt. What are you talking about? No, I'll give you the gestalt. Uh, I, I wait, know what he does, talking, but wait, I don't watch you... his videos or his streams or anything. Well, wait, All wait, he is is just an IRL What are you talking streamer. about? That's it. Dude, I live like 15 minutes away from fucking Ice Poseidon's house. I might go show up. Which real? one you guys are recording? Dude, that's dude, stream a, that's the person. For real. Stream sniping for me. It doesn't matter. We'll bring up something else then, so soon. Okay, okay. Two two planes brought down three buildings on 9-11. Explain that. Explain that. Yeah, yeah Wings. Wings, Wings what's your opinion? <laughs> Wings, what's your opinion on that? It, 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 it doesn't add up. Two planes brought down three buildings. It doesn't fucking add up. One of the buildings collapsed onto the other one. Ever played Jenga? Oh, you Jenga the game Jenga? where you... yeah. yeah, I have. That if you pull a piece from the top, it will it, like topple some in the middle, and all of it falls down regardless, even the ones on the bottom. Uh, I mean, skyscrapers I are know. skyscrapers are fucking heavy, and there's and they're held up by exoskeletons. When you cut that off, it's what's going to happen is you're going to have a floor that collapses onto another floor. Then you have two floors full of weight, and those two floors push down the third floor, and it's a it's a, it's a domino effect: boom, 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 all the way to the ground. So you have a gravity and everything, and that gravity is going to speed up those uh, falling pieces. Yeah. Okay. Wings, wings. You need to make a fucking podcast with Smokey Dog. Smokey oh my! Oh wings, my God! Wings, Smokey, the guy who hates quick scoping. I, no, no, no. Smoke Dog doesn't like me for some reason. No, 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 he, no, no. Actually, he no. I I watch his streams. Smoke Dog actually want likes you, dude. Like at the end of the day, like he hey. he, tr- he make. Hold on, one sec, one sec. He makes videos, man, but he he actually wants you to succeed and see you do well. Like I'm not trolling. Like he really does. Hey, you should stop making videos about me. He makes that's videos true. because his fans think it's funny, man. Like I mean, that's the only bad thing he does, but at the end of the day, he wants you to do well. And he wants he he wanted you to come on his show. It's only it's only you it's only using Blade still an alcoholic or what? Is Bernie still alive? It's only using Blade still an alcoholic? Yeah. Hey Smoke Dog got hit by a car. Hook him up, bro. When the Hadley got hit by a car. Bullshit. I was friends with Doctor Disrespect for years on Xbox. We played together. Bro, he cheated on his wife. Lots of people cheat on their wife. His close friends. He's he's got bigger fish to fry. Like you're over here acting like just because you help somebody, they're gonna come back with you full circle. That's not how that shit works, man. It's not how it works. Buddy. Has White Boy ever smoked uh, meth? I don't know. Why don't you go ask White Boy? I mean, these aren't gonna ask me questions to... about other people. I don't know what other people do. How but much does only using blade? How much does only using blade weigh? <laughs> I don't know why people hate me so much. I mean, I don't hate you. The fact is, it gets old, man. It gets I mean, it's, really it's, old. It's really easy to pick on people that are below you. Um, emotion. No, but like emotional wise, uh, he cries on stream, are... dude. They fucking live for that shit. If he stopped crying and stopped reacting, and also why do you, wings? Why do you block people and get upset about people in the chat? Just ignore them. Just just have your mods do their shit, and then like you'll be fine. Like, the mods just, do most just... of the blocking nowadays. But no, no. But the problem is, you're always telling the mods, "Hey, hey, block them!" Like, don't even do that. Just, just. Just and then fucking... they miss somebody or they don't think it's good. Well, don't, worry fa- it. don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Ninety-five percent. Hey, look here! Listen, look here! Listen. Or embrace it, like make merch with it. I mean, to be honest, like I like how you're going on Discord right now and talking with us. I re- I like that because it kind of shows that you want to like uh, communicate or try to find out why you're getting that much hate. So I appreciate the fact that you're on. Discord, just did, I did this because I wanted somebody to talk to. I didn't do this to, to try to invest. In I mean, 
I mean, I, I've, 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 I've known you ever since Sandy Ravage, so like, it's, it's making me happy that you're, you're at least here what trying you, to, doing, uh, man? trying to like, um, fix this, and it's helping a lot. Word out of my ass. Sucks. Same. My mic sucks. All, all I heard was my ass. <laughs> Yeah, those fucking 10s, 720s are shit. They're scuff. Oh, most people that watch that shit uh, are cretins. Can you switch to headset mic wings? Like, the mic you're using right now is only working like 20% of the time. Um, it's because I have a bad sound gate on it. I'm about to leave anyway. <laughs> Lord of the wings. <laughs>